You might think obeying the rules regarding disabled parking would really be the one area of traffic code that we could all agree on. Unfortunately, that's not the case, as Tony found out in today's Behind the Wheel. After many years with the Portland Police Disabled Parking Enforcement Unit, Rick Spady has seen it all. This vehicle does not have a, uh, a permit, plus it's parked in the aisle. And he's heard every excuse. They go, no, I, I'm, my wife's just in there, or my husband's just in there. We're only going to be here for, for a minute. Or this one. I asked him if he had a permit, and he says, no, but I'll move if somebody needs it. How would they know? But when it comes to the rules around disabled parking, no one, and I mean no one, is above the law. The guy pulled in, and he was in a Santa suit. It was Christmas Eve, and he jumped out of his, his car, and he ran into Target. And so for Christmas, I wrote Santa a citation for parking in a wheelchair <laughs> user spot. We are volunteers. Uh, we work in a, in a unique unit under the police department. The unit was established 16 years ago. The original crew, led by Officer Stanley Harmon, all shared a common bond. Almost all of them were disabled veterans or um, retired police officers. 19 officers are currently on patrol at any given time. That could be the Winco, the Costco, Fred Myers, any place, any parking lot that's open to the public. Today, Rick happens to be patrolling the parking lot at Emanuel Hospital. And for every sorry excuse he hears from violators, he hears just as many thank yous. Our main goal is to educate people and to get them to self-police. A lot of the handicapped people are saying thank you. Uh, you don't know what this means to us. The rules regarding disabled parking are all available in your current Oregon driver's manual. And while knowing the law is important, it's having the right attitude that is essential. Stop thinking of yourself. Think beyond, beyond yourself. Really, how hard is that? Yeah. I'm Tony Martinez, Box 12 Oregon. Tears who work in this unit are people who are living with disabilities themselves, and there is a certain poetic justice, Rick and I discovered I would bet. Yes. in writing one a ticket for parking in a handicapped spot when you don't belong there, uh, and you're in a wheelchair yourself. So. I think yeah, it's yeah. one of the, it's so maddening because there are people yeah. who truly need they need the space, they need the wider spaces to get people in and out, yeah, and they, need, he, they need the proximity. Right. proximity. Yeah. He said it's kind of like fishing. You know, some days you'll you'll write them all day long, some yeah. days you won't get any. But he was uh, saying people in general would be surprised at how often these violations pop up. Oh. It's just, it's What constant. a great program to have across the country, yeah. right? I mean, we expand it elsewhere, but and, good for them. And what a statement, you know, think of others before yourself. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's in general. Yeah, uh, we'll get you by. Get it yeah. Away. To every yeah. Yeah. The world's yeah. I mean, such a great place. There would be no <laughs> longer be road rage. You're right. like, oh, must be, must be something important. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. The things that yeah. can solve. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. So anyway, oh, good story, though. wisdom yeah. was what we had right there. Yeah.